Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been such a long time since I last did like a cushion review. So I want to bring this back again, which I believe some of you guys actually like my cushion review. And I thought why not start off reviewing the Innisfree No Sebum Cushion. And you see from the packaging, it might remind you of the Laneige one, which I'll do like a quick comparison later on in this video. But let's focus on the Innisfree Cushion first. In terms of this, on the packaging, it just says that it is a powdered light mattify and fixes instantly. It comes in a range of shade and I got mine in a darker shade which is 23 and ginger and this one contains SPF 35. Any SPF is good so I'm just grateful for that. With this one, it says that it's supposed to give you like a smooth coverage but also a high coverage at the same time, a blur finish as well and it's supposed to not smudge on mask so we will do like a mask proof test at the end as well. It also said that it is pretty long lasting which I will cover in this video too. I actually want to talk about the puff which is inside obviously it's not, but I think it's here. And mine's a little bit dirty, but I will put like a clip here of before I start using it. And what really fascinated me with this puff is that on the top it has holes in them. I hate holes, but this one is so small that it's, it doesn't bother me at all. Pretty much it has holes on the top half and on the bottom it just have a smooth surface like a usual cushion puff. And what it does with this one is that the holes just help to give you much more of a softer daily finish complexion when you use the whole area and the smooth side just helps to give you like a velvety thicker finish. Which part I like using more to be honest for this one is actually the whole part because I noticed that using the whole part it gives me a very nice even finish, it looks very blur light, it looks very very natural like it is so blendable it looks like my natural skin color if that makes sense but when i use the smooth side you can definitely see that applying cushion or like foundation on my face so you can definitely see the complexion or you can see the complexion differences i've also seen what people are doing is that they will use the whole area first for the whole face and then any area that you want high coverage you turn it and use the smooth side so i do use that more for like my nose area however i did notice that if you tend to use the smooth side more to apply on your face then using a mask will actually transfer quite a bit but if you use the whole side give you like a daily natural type of light look then it doesn't transfer as much on the mask if that makes sense but i just want to cover the path because i find this very fascinating if i quickly compare this with the lineage one the lineage one have like a complete whole set here which i actually like and in the beginning i love the lineage one but now if i have to pick one I actually prefer the Innisfree one because the holes are definitely much more smaller and somehow it just gives me much more of a nice blur finish compared to the Laneige one. In terms of the application, it sets really nicely, it sets really quickly as well so just be mindful of that. Try and just um, focus on one area and then move to the other side. In terms of the coverage, it can go between medium to high coverage depending how you actually apply it and how much coverage you want. I tend to try and go for just like a medium one this is my medium coverage and i find that this cushion is so lightweight especially for those who have dry skin because dry skin when you try to apply too much it may feel really cakey it feels heavy it might feel a little bit irritating but this one feels so nice it's like it feels like my skin so i definitely love how lightweight this is even like throughout the day it just feels really lightweight as well in terms of the finish it does give you a matte finish but not in a drying way if that makes sense because sometimes there are some cushion gives you like a matte powdery finish this one doesn't do that at all possibly maybe after the six hours mark you might see a little bit of that powdery finish on some parts of your face now let's talk about the longevity now since i've been talking about you know a few hours later i've noticed that with this one this is definitely very long lasting definitely lasts me about eight or nine hours but obviously it's not perfect I've noticed that it does give me a bit of a dry 
finish around my mouth area not so much my nose and what I mean by dry is that it gives me a bit of that powdery effect so that's something to just keep in mind of however the coverage just stays on especially the nose especially the forehead the t-zone area everything just stays on I've noticed that some people have said that it does give them a bit of an oily finish it doesn't do that for me surprisingly so maybe because I have dry skin and yeah I just find that this actually stays on really well so a big thumbs up for the longevity I'm going to show you the smearing test on my phone so I'm just gonna push this in and I'm just gonna be quite rough with it as you can see and you can see that it doesn't transfer it's more of like my grease rather than the cushion. Before I do the mask test, I just want to talk to you guys quickly about the comparison. I can definitely tell you that I actually see a little bit of differences between these two other than the packaging. I mean, the packaging you can see the colors are the same, but the size of the shape is obviously different. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'm actually using Laneige on my left side and Innisfree on my right side. And for the Laneige one, I got this in the darker shade as well. And for some reason, this one doesn't state what color I am. But I will put it down in the comment box below. But this is the darker shade in the Laneige collection. So both of them are the darker shade. And I have to say that the Laneige is definitely much more brighter than the Innisfree one in terms of the color shade. The Laneige one gives me more of that brightening effect and much more of that whiter, yellower effect as well. And with the Innisfree, I noticed that if I compare this one with the Laneige, the Innisfree one is much more of a golden finish, but also slightly pink as well, if that makes sense, like a pink undertone. But I've noticed that in terms of the finish, the Laneige one is actually a little bit more drying than the Innisfree one because I can see a little bit of flicks around my nose area compared to the Innisfree. I've also done like a side-by-side -side, um, longevity as well the other day and I've noticed that the Laneige one tend to crease a little bit more compared to the Innisfree one and it creases more around my mouth area so I see like a line going down here a little bit of dry patches as well but the Innisfree one actually stayed put so if you ask me which one is better I would definitely say the Innisfree one surprisingly and in terms of the affordability, the Innisfree one is actually cheaper as well. The reason why I thought I'll mention this before the mask test is because since I'm doing the mask test now, I might as well show you guys which one actually stay on much better on the mask. So I'm just going to put this on and I'm not being gentle with this at all and I'm just gonna push this in. You guys ready? So this is the Innisfree and this is the Laneige. So both actually transfer on the nose area, but in terms of oh my god, what is this on my? Sorry guys, I got some jajamian on my hand. I'm so sorry, but anyway, in terms of the cheek and the chin area, there's no transfer, but more so on the nose area. So. That's a little bit of a worry because obviously, you know, this lies on the nose area. But again, like I've mentioned, is that I put more of a high coverage around my nose area just because I have more redness there. So I'm not so surprised that it does transfer on the mask. But again, this is not mask proof at all for me personally. I definitely enjoy using this Innisfree cushion and I can already see myself using this so many times because I'm, I have already been using this many, many times before doing this review. So I definitely will recommend this to you guys if you guys have dry skin but you want like a matte finish and a little bit of that comfort and lightweight this is definitely it so definitely give this a try if there's any other questions in terms of this cushion put it down in the comment box below and I'll see you guys on my next video bye guys